That's low. That's low. That's low. Uh, that's low. That's low. That's low. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? can be pretty stressful, um, but I just get through it through friends and stuff. How can it get any better than this? It's pretty wild. I, uh, I go to school, get everything done, go home, watch some TV and play video games, go to sleep, repeat the process. Why are you telling me this? Why should I care? I don't care. In school, I'm uh, the president of the Thespians Honor Society, and I have been the lead in a one act and a lead in the musical. Online. Ricky. Social life is online. Life at Tab can be pretty stressful, but uh, I usually get through it with a lot of help from my friends and family, and ends up being really fun. Social networking company. I did. Yay! 5,600,001 and friends. Four years of college and plenty of knowledge. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm really involved. I'm on the uh, exec board for the SCA. I do drama, so I'm in a lot of stuff. I'm on the swim team. This is real life. We live on and I'm leading the musical this year, so I try to stay involved. My favorite memory. Uh, up to this point in my life at least, <laughs> is when I swam the 100 breaststroke at States last year. It was with my friends Charlie Bowles, uh, Trevor Jones, and Aiden McCormick, and we all ended up placing in the top eight, which got us plenty of points, and we did end up winning that year by one point. So if any one of us hadn't been in that uh, last race, then we wouldn't have won, and it just felt great that the whole team contributed and that I could be part of an amazing team like TAB. We go to New Horizons for cosmetology. So outside of TAB, I do a lot of hair cutting and I actually have a job as a receptionist at a hair salon in Williamsburg. So my life revolves around hair. My dad and I are just alike, which makes it hard for us to be around each other too much. He's actually deployed right now, but uh, I love him. And then I have a sister, and uh, she's probably one of my best friends. We're very close, and then I'm a mama's boy, so we have a very good little family. In my family, I'm the fourth child of uh, four boys. I have three older brothers, and two of them have already moved out, and the third is at college at UVA. My dad, actually five years ago, suffered a traumatic brain injury, but he made an almost full recovery, and <laughs> usually can't even tell that it happened. I live with my mom and dad and my little sister. Uh, she's three years younger than me, but uh, she's, she's tall, so she looks just like me, so it's like I have a twin, and she's really cool. We have a, re a really good relationship. At my church, I uh, teach the younger kids. I'm like the little preacher, sort of, for the, younger, for the younger kids, so it's a lot of fun. I have one older brother, and he and I are really close, best friends. I love him to death. He's extremely protective of me. Um, my favorite memory is probably the memory of one weekend, me and my friends. We went to Williamsburg and we went out there for lunch, just something fun. And we saw this lady with a random ugly Christmas sweater and we were having a conversation. And we decided to go to the thrift store that day and go buy ugly Christmas sweaters and take pictures. And so I just love when a day turns into something unexpected. It was so much fun. It's probably the best memory I have. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I could afford a six pack. Yay! You're wasting money in the long run if you don't buy in bulk. Oh, wow. You're right. I'll buy a case. Nine one one, where's your emergency? Uh, yes, ma'am. I need to report a bad accident on the side of Tab High School. There's two vehicles. It looks like they've T-boned one another. <laughs> Davis, please. 
I have one person who's screaming, trying to get out. They can't get out. And there's another one that looks to be unconscious. I don't know if they're breathing. Okay, we'll get somebody out there just as soon as we can. Thank you. Engine 2, Medic 2, Rescue 1, EMS 2, Battalion 1, respond for a two-vehicle accident, possible trap, Tab High School, 4431-4431, Big Bethel Road, cross street through Yorktown Road to Bethany Terrace. Engine 2, Medic 2, Rescue 1, EMS 2, Battalion 1, responding to Tap High School. 10 4 <laughs> Please. Please wake up. Caller advised T-bone collision with one trap, several subjects around the vehicle screaming, one patient possibly not breathing. James? James? Hello? You okay? Hello. Engine 2, Medic 2 on scene. We got two vehicles involved, heavy damage. <laughs> what happened? Um, we were, uh, leaving to a spring break, and, uh, we had had a few times, and, uh, I was texting my mom to let her come over home, and I ran into them, just going back. You got one critical over here, you got two in there. He said, uh, he's our driver, he's gonna be okay. Come with me. All right, sweetheart. I'm gonna put a seat collar on you, okay? Man, York County, two vehicles heavily damaged, one good gray. Don't move your head, don't move your neck, okay? We're going to cover you up while they while they start to cut stuff away from the car, okay? You hear lots of noise. Okay. Six, can you contact the Shank residents? Just verify that the subject was uh, texting and driving when he was driving. I feel a little bit of movement, just stay still, okay? Tip of your thumb is the tip of your finger. You're going to count out loud, you're going to go one, Two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, four, one, two. Three. <laughs> What's his name? Camus. Camus, can you hear Camus. me? Camus, can you hear me? Can you please hear me? Touch the tip of your nose, bring it right back out. Okay, you just hold still, okay? <laughs> I can't. He's gonna be DUI, Lieutenant. You going? Okay. Lay your board out. Lay it out. You guys good? Yep. All right. <laughs> Left. Okay, extend it back out. Right. And we'll try right one more time. All right, very good. You're gonna cover. Come out. I just wanna go. I just wanna go. They're, they're just taking him out. Okay. Slide him up. Yep. One. Ready? Two. Your eyes only, okay? Follow tip my finger, okay? Keep your head still. Down three. One, two, three. One out. Okay. Sharp. Don't lay down. There we go. Watch that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you look at your toes for balance. Keep your arms down your side and count out loud. You may begin. One, two, three, four, five. Arms on your side. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, That's good. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, four. Five, four. Five, four. Oh. Five, four. All right, you may begin when you like. Straight out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
drive it. At this point, I do believe you're operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. See what you did? Look what you did. You're under arrest for DUI. Have a seat, my friend. You know you're under arrest for DUI. Take a deep breath in and blow until you hear me stop. Blow. Blow, 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 blow. Very good. 0 0.07. You know what the legal limit is for a juvenile? 0.02. All right, you ready to go to jail? All right, let's go. You know you're under arrest? For DUI. One, two, three. No bowel sounds. Pelvis feels unstable. One, two, three. Score. One, two, three. Can we get a lot of blood in the belly? The surgeon's coming. Cardiac activity looks like it's decreasing to start CPR. He's running our blood. Do we have blood here? No pulse. All right. Somebody have a time? 1409. Okay. Is he okay? Here's no, sir. He was involved in a motor vehicle accident and uh, he was not breathing when he got here and uh, we uh, gave him blood and we gave him medication, but he did not respond to resuscitation. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. So now you got to do something. There's got to be. <laughs> you can be with him. Miss Kegelman. Her son's name is James. Yeah, it's James. This is always the hard part of working out here, especially when it's a kid that you're talking about. The last thing I want to do is notify the parent that their child died. I think the best thing's going to do is once we get there, make her have a seat. I'll be the one that tells her. Okay. And I'll try we'll to console her there. if I can. I could imagine just being in her shoes. I wouldn't handle it well. Every time they ask a question that you just don't have the answer to. Hi, ma'am. My name is Deputy Fry. This is Deputy Deerhart. Yes, ma'am. Are you James's mother? Yes. Is something wrong? May we come in and talk to you, please? Yes, sir. Sure. Come on in. Unfortunately, we are here. We do have some bad news for you. <sighs> James was involved in a vehicle accident in front of Tab High School today. <laughs> He did die as a result of the accident. Oh my god. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Where is he now? Ooh. Can I go see him? Can I need to call somebody?
my mom and dad moved in about two or three years ago when my dad got very sick. He had about six weeks where he was very ill and on hospice here in the house. James would go in there every day, hold his hand, talk to him. The day my dad died, um, James was at school and he, my dad died here in the house and it was right around the time the bus was coming home. And so the hospice nurse alerted me to the bus being at the intersection. Even though it was expected and everything, I was going out there to comfort him and tell him that Pop-Up had gone. And he just put his arm around me and walked me back to the house. Came in, gave his grandma a big hug, and he comforted us. Oh, guys, I'm your city coach, and I'm sitting all the same to make please enter suits, prosecutors, going out of business before the score, come forward and show me her. Can I say, come up, the son of coach, you may see, court now come to order. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Hahn. Mr. Roberts, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Judge. And if you will raise your right hand, I'll have some questions for you. Do you swear or affirm that the information you provide or testimony you give will be the truth to help you got? Yes, I do. You may put your hand down. Mr. Shank, do you fully understand the charges against you? Yes. Have you had a chance to discuss those charges and their elements of proof with Mr. Roberts? Yes. Two beers, two thumbs, two seconds. That's all it took to destroy the future hopes and dreams of the four families assembled here today. I ask the court to impose a sentence of 10 years upon each of the involuntarily, involuntary vehicular manslaughter charges. I ask you to impose a sentence of five years on the vehicular maiming charge for a total period of incarceration of 25 years. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. Mr. Roberts. I would start by saying, and I want everyone uh, to hear this, that a, a person of this age is not only quantitatively but qualitatively different than the uh, adults. As I was saying, a person of, of this young man, man's age and experience is both quantitatively and qualitatively different than an adult that we would expect and we often see seated at this table beside defense counsel. As the court knows, he's pled guilty now and been convicted of felonies. And those are a stone around the neck of an individual in this commonwealth, which is a very heavy burden to bear. How does the commonwealth care to respond? Briefly, Your Honor. We do not seek to reform the man we hang. We seek to warn and deter others by his example. You must be punished, Mr. Shank. The question is, to what extent do we then throw your future away along with those of Mr. Colgan and Mr. Kegelman? We can take care of what is a very simple decision at this point, and that's Having found you guilty of driving after illegally having consumed alcohol, I will impose a $500 fine. On charge of texting while driving, having found you guilty, I will further impose a $500 fine. As to indictment number one of the vehicular manslaughter, I will impose 10 years in prison. I will suspend five of those 10 years for the duration of your lifetime. On count two of vehicular manslaughter, I will impose 10 years in prison suspend the entirety of that 10-year sentence for the balance of your lifetime. On the DUI maiming charge, I will impose five years in prison, suspending that five-year period for the balance of your lifetime. You will have a five-year term of active incarceration in the Virginia Department of Corrections. It will not be a pleasant five years for you, but understand, Mr. Shank, that you could have been sentenced to 25 years in the penitentiary today and no one would bat an eye at that sort of sentence because it certainly could not be argued that it would be inappropriate under the circumstances. Mr. Shank, do you have any questions about any of your obligations? No. Well, best of luck to you, young man. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, gentlemen.
I'm going to the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, with their honors program, and I'll be studying pre-medicine. <laughs> I got accepted into a few colleges, but I chose to go to Liberty Fall 2013. Um, I'm planning on either majoring in business management or I'm looking at biblical studies. I'm not really sure, so it's two extremes. I'm not sure, I'm undecided, but I know I'm going to Liberty University. I definitely plan on going to a four-year college. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to go. I think I want to stay close to home, but not too close. I want to get my space away from my parents, but to where I, if I need anything, I can easily come back or they can get to me. I do think that I should try to get somewhere that will uh, accept me for a swimming scholarship, maybe a four-year plan, and after that I'll see what I like and keep going. If I was told I couldn't see them again, I'd be horrified. I would not be able to uh, bear that. It's the worst news I could possibly hear. Two beers, two thumbs, two seconds. Two beers, Two thumbs, two sides.